Hey guys, Small Kiwi here for FPS General with a quick guide to movement in Shoot Mania. Shoot Mania is a really simple game. It's been boiled down to the core of a first-person shooter game. There's no extra stuff. It's three weapons, it's three modes of movement, nothing else. Now you might be wondering, why do I need a guide to move around? It's a pretty simple concept. Well, in Shoot Mania, being able to move effectively is life and death. You're only ever one or two or maybe three shots away from dying in this game, so it's really important that you be able to avoid fire whenever possible. To do that, you've got standard movement, that's the WASD, left, right, forward, and backwards. You've got the ability to jump, and you have the ability to sprint. What sets this game apart from other first-person shooters is the fact that everything is really responsive and happens really quickly. Your WASD keys are going to give you really fast, responsive movements. You have a sprint ability that lets you move really quickly, and you have the ability to jump, which can be useful for avoiding some fire, but it can also be your death sentence. You see, anytime you go up in the air after that jump, you're going to be really easy to predict for your enemies. Whether they're using a railgun, or they're using their standard rocket attack, it's really easy for them to predict where you're going to land or where you're going to be in your trajectory. So, you're going to want to avoid jumping. That's not to say you shouldn't jump. It's really good for avoiding incoming fire, and it can also make you really unpredictable if you use it at the right times. The difference with sprinting in this game is that anytime you want to sprint, you're going to have to jump first, so it can really be dangerous to even start a sprint if you know that there are enemies around that could be targeting you. Staying ahead of your enemy and avoiding his fire is really about knowing what weapon he's using and how to avoid it. If you see he's got a railgun, you're going to want to use a lot of quick movements to throw off his aim, and then mix it up with some longer movements left and right that are going to cause him to not know whether to aim dead center or try and lead you and get that snapshot off. If your enemy is using rockets, make sure that you use longer movements coupled with some small bouts of short movement to keep him guessing where you're going to be. Anytime that you make long, predictable movements, he's going to have the ability to really guess where you're going and hit you mid-stride with a rocket. Knowing the distance to your opponent is really important. If you're far enough away, you will be able to jump to avoid fire. Um, if you're too close, the time it takes to jump will be too long, and he'll be able to predict where you're going to land, or where you'll be mid-jump and really land in mid-air. Regardless of the weapon that your enemy is using, the most important thing you can do is not move in a straight line. Anytime that you're moving, you want to switch it up, go left and right, zigzag as much as possible, because that's really going to make it difficult for your enemy to predict where you're going to be and land that critical shot. Well, that's it for me, guys. I hope you learned something and had fun. In the near future, you'll be seeing some more videos on Shoot Mania from FPS General. But just remember, you gotta have Twitch.